Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set your Apple Watch SE so that the only way it will lock is if you manually lock it versus letting the watch automatically lock. Uh, this is a setting, just like most settings, you can do it on the watch or you can do it on the uh, Apple Watch app on your cell phone. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start by uh, pressing my screen, turn on my display. You'll notice that I have my watch locked. It's gonna ask me to enter a passcode. If you have wrist detection on, the watch will automatically lock whenever you're not wearing the watch. I'm gonna go ahead, first we're gonna start by pressing the bottom right button, that's the control center button. I wanna show you something in the control center. If you look at all of my options, I've got all these different things here, but one of the things I don't have is a lock feature. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the digital crown. I'm gonna show you how we can control this. We'll press the digital crown, that will take us to our app listing. Now I've got mine in list view, you might have yours in grid view. We need to go to settings. Under settings, we're gonna to go to passcode, and then you have to have the passcode on in order to see any of these features. If we swipe to the bottom, you will see an option that says wrist detection. If you have wrist detection on when you're not wearing the watch, it will automatically lock. If you turn this off, it's gonna make me enter my passcode. You're gonna lose some function uh, functionality. It tells you all the things that won't work if you turn this off, but you can say, hey, that's okay. Turn it off anyway. Now the way the watch works is it will not lock unless you go manually lock it. So I'm going to let it time out and I'm going to show you that. Remember, before when I went to get on my watch, I had to enter my passcode and it showed the lock on the screen. Now it's going to time out and that shouldn't happen. Yep, I can get on my watch. I can do anything I want to. Because we have wrist detection off, the only way it will lock is if we manually do it. The way we're gonna manually do it is we're gonna press that control center button again. And now under control center, you'll see that there is a lock option. I can simply press that and I've successfully locked the watch. Now I can't do anything unless I put in my code. Now it's unlocked. It won't lock again until I go to that control center button and manually lock it. I'm not sure it's a feature a lot of people would want to use, but it does give you the ability so that the watch doesn't automatically lock. You're the one who's in control. You lock it whenever you want to. You unlock it whenever you want to. As always, I hope the video helped. If it did, thumbs up are always appreciated. Thanks for watching.